Kayla, thank you so much. Also, first at four, businesses in Marion County are trying to recover from both the pandemic and the protests over the past few weeks. City leaders are now introducing a new economic plan to help those businesses get back to normal. They are calling it the You Have Earned It campaign. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan live downtown today. Mike, what can you tell us about the mayor's announcement? Well, the mayor says Indy is not only about the people, but the places as well. These hot spots that make Indy what it is. And this campaign is aimed at bringing Hoosiers back here to Marion County as safe as possible. To say that 2020 has been an unprecedented time in our city's 200 year history, well, that would be an understatement. From protests to pandemic, Inequity remains a battle while more than 40,000 tourism based employees are out of work. Research shows that nearly 50% of Indiana residents plan to take a trip in July and August. Yet hotels that are generally at 70% occupancy around this time. Right now I'm told they are averaging 7%. The city is announcing a new campaign called You've Earned It, aimed to bring people back to downtown. Beginning next week, we will launch a $1 million regional and statewide marketing campaign to ensure that every resident of Indiana knows that Indianapolis is back open for business. Many Marion County hotels will be giving half off deals for in-state residents. We know that for every hotel room that stay, that we'll have 500 or more dollars in visitor spending in the capital city. We definitely get a lot of uh, tourists that come to the store, you know, uh, a lot of con convention people come to, to the store to shop. Ben Diallo is the owner of J. Ben's All Menswear. Their downtown location was looted and damaged during riots weeks ago. But we're rebuilding now and then we're going to open this week again. City leaders are asking people to support not only downtown businesses impacted by COVID, but those that are minority owned. You have the power to strike a blow against both by one, putting on a mask, and two, visiting our black and brown owned businesses. As for making masks mandatory in the county. Yeah, we are considering it. While the city is simultaneously giving access to free masks for Hoosiers and more for small businesses and nonprofits. That includes funding for PPE to outfit their staff and the facilities that they occupy. Unprecedented indeed. Tomorrow, the mayor is expected to announce the next steps for Marion County's reopen. He held off doing that today at this press conference, saying he wanted to hear the governor's message first. Live downtown, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 